lot of all this wireless stuff all came out of um, a research project that I did at uh, Novell. And it was pre-802.11, before the standard even existed. And we built out a wireless network that covered about five city blocks downtown uh, um, Salt Lake City in 1998. At the time, it was the largest single wireless deployment that had been done with any of this technology ever anywhere on Earth. And then it was after that that I opened the first internet cafes downtown Salt Lake for the Olympics when they were here in town. And that's what got the whole internet cafe market going. I, I didn't have any way to get high speed at my house, so then I went ahead and, and uh, looked at setting up the residential network. So this, this is actually the uh, the view that I picked up the house for, but uh, up here on the hill, you'll see the shed is up here by the water tank. On the shed, there's actually an antenna that shoots about six and a half miles up to the airport. And then there's an antenna inside the shed that then feeds the customers down here, including myself, the, the uh, timber company down here, and a number of my neighbors. So this shed really acts as a transponder for you? Yeah, so it's a repeater to basically bring the high-speed link all the way out here to this end of the valley and then feed the customers, all of us, off of it uh, down here. That's great. Do you want to hike up and see it inside? Yeah, let's all right. take a hike. Let's go. Tell, show me how the, where's the airport and how does the signal work? So the, uh, the grill antenna that we've got on the mast is actually the one that shoots the link back to the airport. Okay, well let's uh, pop the take shed and inside. take a look inside. Those are just standard uh, Sam's Club purchase, six volt batteries, three banks of them just to give me extra reserve power on them. With the LEDs on them are the solar charge controllers. So those are what uh, regulate the power charging and the lights being on mean that uh, we've got enough light already that they're charging. The wind turbine inputs are the lower right where you got that little red box and those go straight into the batteries because the wind turbine's got a charge controller. Um, I added a couple of meters on the board just so I can track power and, and uh, current uh, power consumption. And then as you continue coming across the board, uh, up higher above it on the wall is the uh, client bridge that goes back to the office. There's a heck of a lot of current in all of that stuff. Yeah, and so down there on the lower left is actually then that gray box is the, uh, the uh, access point radio, and that's the one that's feeding all the customers here in the valley. Cool. Well, that's pretty much everything here at the shed. So what I'm thinking is we really ought to drive up the road and, uh, and go check out the, uh, the office up the airport. And I can kind of show you the servers and where everything uh, comes in from the internet at that end. Cool, and then let's catch one of the cafes after that. Okay, sounds good. All right, cool. Now I'm all frog throated. <laughs> it's a good hike. It's good exercise. Okay. Yeah. Now that that you cold get the wireless weather, business and, and you get all kinds yeah. of new health. Wireless business and you do a couple uh, Appalachian marathons when you're at it. <laughs> so what do we have here, Scott? So you know it's kind of a mess right now, but I've been upgrading servers. So this first rack is basically all the core equipment. So I've got newer switches and and then the core servers that operate the network. I got the core authentication server and then some of the backup servers that, that run some of the different services that we offer. Over here on this wall is where really the, the last core component of the network, this is the core radio that runs the network here in the valley. So this Orinoco radio goes down through an amplifier and then actually shoots out through this conduit. And that's what goes to the antenna that you guys saw outside okay. that's up on the mast. So, uh, so this is just one of the classic uh, internet cafe kind of things. We had a cafe owner up here in Park City, Utah. She wanted to get uh, internet in to complement the, uh, the business, mostly for people who have laptops and bring that kind of stuff in. Right. 
We can go inside and I'll show you what it looks like inside. Okay. This is a pretty basic setup, just to give you an idea of, of, uh, of what it takes to get an internet cafe up. Down here on the floor is actually a server, it's just a Linux box, it's running NoCat, the open source project. Okay. I did some contributions to that and wrote some code, uh, enhanced it. The uh, DSL modem and a hub down there. We've got one PC over here that's just a cheap PC running Windows for people who come in and don't have their own computer. Cool. So that's basically everything. All right, cool. Looks great. So looks that's like pretty interesting. How does that work again? Well, well the whole setup here you actually airport, have a PC and the wireless, the wireless network, out both connected to the uh, wireless uh, all access point. They're both connected all through a hub and into the DSL connection and, and, and out to the internet.